Do you want to know how to write sales emails for your online course with ChatGPT? Because you're like me and you're just not good at writing emails and it takes you forever. Well, I'm a Facebook ads manager and you know what? I got a new client earlier this week and they almost didn't decide to work with me because they needed to write sales emails for their lead magnet and they wanted me to run ads to their lead magnet. And I was like, hold on. My client told me that they were going to have to pay for a professional copywriter in order to get their sales email sequence written. And I'm like, first of all, you don't need to pay for a professional copywriter at all. You can just watch one of my videos and write a sales email with ChatGBT. Will it be like super ultimate awesome? No, but will it get the job done? Absolutely yes. And in this video, I'm gonna show you my exact process. So as you can see on the screen right here, what I've done, I'll show you the exact prompt that I'm using, okay? So what you can see here is I have an email. Guess what? That email was given to me as a swipe file. You, I'm sure, get plenty of marketing emails in your inbox. So you can either take a picture of a swipe file that you have or take a screenshot of an email that you like, and you need to put it into ChatGPT. At this time of the recording of the video, ChatGPT 4 is the only version that can analyze pictures. But if you're going to use ChatGPT 3.5, you'll need to copy and paste an email inside. But here are the exact prompts that you would do. So prompt one is you need to have your communication style. Now, how do you get that communication style? You can feed ChatGPT a bunch of emails that you've written and tell it to analyze those emails and give you the communication style. You can, if you have lots of YouTube videos, you can transcribe those YouTube videos with a service and then upload the transcripts and tell ChatGPT to analyze the text for your communication style. Once you give it a prompt, like, look what I just told it to do. I won't repeat. You can just pause and read. And then here's my communication style. Now there's ChatGPT's response. By the way, I am the host of the Art of Online Business podcast, and this is who we help. And so then what I did is I uploaded a picture of an email and I told it to analyze that email and remember my communication style. And then you want to tell ChatGPT to act as certain professions. So I like to tell it to act as the number one online course copywriter of the world, right? And uh, I happen to like Dan Kennedy, so I tell it to pretend like it has read D Dan Kennedy's books and uh, Influenced by Robert Cialdini. Now, you can't just tell it to act like it's read any book. You should probably ask ChatGPT beforehand, hey, are you familiar with so -and -so, with this book by so-and-so author? then ChatGPT will tell you whether or not it's familiar with that book. Then you can go ahead and do a prompt like this. Please like this video, like click right there, like it. If you're getting new kind of prompts and ways to interact with ChatGPT that you just haven't found elsewhere, because that's my mission. So write a similar email that's designed to sell my program. I gave it the name of my program. I copy and pasted the information of my sales page. I also gave it information about my audience. You have to know who you are writing to, especially if you want ChatGPT to not give you generic emails. It is very much worth your time to decide your audience. Now, look at the email that ChatGPT gave me. It gave me a different subject line from the subject line here. That's okay. This will not get you all the way to the email you need, but it will get you almost there. And then it wrote me an email. I'll scroll through it very slowly. So what did I do next? I took this email and I put it into my Kajabi email sequence. And then what I did is I edited the email. Now, this email that you can see on screen took me maybe 10 minutes to edit it. It was much more quicker than me ever writing this email. And I have a decent sales email. Want to see another email? I'm going to show you right now. 
Do you also want to use Kajabi? I have a special 30 day trial and Kajabi is a place where you can host your courses, set up your checkout pages, your sales pages, your lead magnet opt-in pages, and even write email sequences. So head to the description below if you want to get a 30 day trial. So here's another email. Let's see what happens. Now this one is a three part email. So I took these images and I've uploaded them here. Now this email, the nature is more of a summary, like Q and A style of the course contents. So notice that I changed my prompt a little bit and said, analyze the email. There's three pictures. It's one email divided across three images. That way I can, you know, help chat GPT along just in case it's dumb, but it's super smart. And then I tell it to remember my communication style. Here is the favorite best number one copywriter of the world. And then I give it the information of my course sales page again. But what I do differently this time is I tell it the outline of my course saying, here's the outline of my course and then module one. And then I break it down module one, lesson three, module one, lesson four, until I get to module two and then all of the lessons there. And then I still give chat GPT information about the audience who I serve. So that kind of prompt, if you want it, there should be a link in the description below to a lead magnet where you can go and download this prompt. Now it gives me this email. Is this email a hundred percent? Like a hundred percent means, can I use it right away? I still probably need to tweak it some, but is it better than what I could write by myself? Absolutely. And look, YouTube has decided that you should probably watch that video next. So you can tap or click the screen up there or if you want to tap or click the screen down there so you can see my reviews of other online course creators, funnels and landing pages and thank you pages and tripwire offers and challenges, then tap or click the screen down there. Until the next video, stay blessed. Bye.